welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori Bream. Um, I have not done a video in a long time. I had this great expectation of doing like two videos a week all year with like two extra over the course of the year and y'all I'm behind like that that has not been a goal I've been able to keep up on but I am still here I'm still on Wellbutrin I actually upped my dose again so I'm back on the 300 milligrams and honestly it is just for the ADHD it is not for depression if anything it has actually increased my anxiety a little bit I think a lot of that too is I haven't been working out things have been really crazy at work and it's 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 really been nuts and I was talking to my fiance today and I think I'm gonna you know start this workout regime again just to help with my anxiety because it has been rough but the reason I upped it was because I was just forgetting things all the time and uh, that is something that really stresses me out when I first got back on Wellbutrin for ADHD I just really felt like most of my day was spent looking for whatever I just had um, I'm not saying that doesn't happen anymore. It still definitely happens on 300 milligrams, but it happens less. And I do feel more organized. I do feel more calm. I don't feel as frantic and stressed out all the time. And I don't know if like you have ADHD or dyslexia or anything, but watching reels, a lot of those things come up for me. And there's so many things that people are like, did you know this is linked to that? And did you know that this is a symptom? And it's amazing to me how much ADHD and dyslexia overlap. And I do have both. I was diagnosed with dyslexia in high school and then diagnosed with ADHD after college and, or like mid college, after my first college, before I went to my second college. And so many of these things are like really empowering to me because it's like your brain works different or like it's fine. It, it works differently. That has been really nice to know just because like I stress like there, you know, there's a lot of stress like being who you are and thinking back to times in my life where I wasn't stressed. There were times when I had just had a near-death experience. Like that was when I was the least stressed in my life was when I had just had a near-death experience and I was like, whatever, like I'm here now, I might not be tomorrow, you know, whatever. And while I don't want another near-death experience, I do want to adopt some more of that. One thing that really helped me out at the time was stoicism, just like reading a lot of from the philosophers just about that, like Seneca, Marcus Aurelius, stuff like that. That was really helpful to me. And then also meditation. Now I will say on Wellbutrin, meditation is extremely hard for me. I don't know why. I'm not sure if it's like just something about it, about the medication makes my brain just like go overboard or something. Like I, I really don't know what it is, but meditation has been very difficult for me while I'm on Wellbutrin. But it honestly really has helped. I feel a lot more myself on Wellbutrin than off of it. And I think a lot of that is just like, I can't think straight. I was off of it for a few months last year and while my depression didn't come back, my ADHD did. And that was really, really stressful for me. Another thing is there's like kind of this, it's not really a brag, but like it, it is kind it is kind of a brag to like not need medication. I wish that I was one of those people. I am not. I need medication for my lupus. I need vitamins in order to keep my body running and my brain running the way that it needs to. And unfortunately, I do function a lot better with medication. And even in that, I said unfortunately, like what the heck is that about? Like medication was built, and I know this gets into like big pharma and everything, but I believe medication was built to solve a problem. If it solves your problem without creating more problems than you had to begin with, like that's good. It's medicine. It's not going to be something that people just want to get money out of you for. So I am very grateful to know what works for me, to be able to take it, to be able to afford it through my insurance. Like there's, there's just a lot of things that I feel really happy about. So this is just a quick update, quick medication update. I feel like I am back on the 300 milligrams. I think it's been three months now that I've been back on it. January. It's April. Yes, three months. So it is going really well. I'll probably do a couple more 
videos on medication updates just because I've been on some other medications for a long time now. And so I'll talk a little bit more about those as well. But just wanted to check in on Wellbutrin. I am back on it, 300 milligrams. I hope you guys are doing okay and take care. Mm -hmm.